Hi there, my name is Leanna from Proactive Pelvic Health Center. I'd just like to take a little bit of time today to go through the Bristol stool chart. So let's first talk about um, the idea of constipation. So when people think about constipation, sometimes they think that they're constipated if they don't have a bowel movement every single day. And this isn't actually or necessarily the norm for everyone. There's a huge variation. Some people will have one to three bowel movements a day. Others will have two to three bowel movements a week. What I think is important is to notice and pay attention to a significant decrease in the typical pattern of your bowel movements. And also, on top of that, considering a change in effort. So if you find that you're having the urge to have a bowel movement and you sit down and you feel like it's nothing's happening and you're feeling the need or that you need to push, you need to bear down, you need to hold your breath, you find your face is getting red or you're grunting and straining, that's not normal. And thirdly, you also want to consider the consistency of your stool, any changes in the consistency. So that's when the Bristol stool chart comes into play and we really highly support the need to look at your poo. So basically up here, the type one, type two is where we would place you in the constipated kind of aspect where it's hard, pebbly, rocky. This is very traumatizing to the pelvic floor muscles. It can cause um, significant pelvic floor weakness and even some nerve injury trying to pass this type of stool, the consistency. And then if you can go on to the other extreme of things, this isn't constipated, this is a very watery um, diarrhea type of stool, and that might indicate some issues with lack of absorption or nutrition, but this will, can be very difficult for pelvic floor muscles to be able to keep you continent. So you might um, end up having some accidents um, because of this. So we want to try to get you right into the middle around the type four area where the stool is softer and smoother, um, easier to pass. The consistency really helps for reducing the strain and the effort and the potential trauma on the pelvic floor muscles. So this is a very important chart to um, refer to and to consider when you're thinking about whether or not you might be constipated. Thank you.